There's so many things that come up in our lives. Sometimes they're truly horrible. Sometimes they're just distressing. Sometimes we just feel overwhelmed in our lives. And it's great to have a space in our mind that we can go that is a safe, calm place. Hello, I'm Barbara, and I'm here to lean into wellness to build a better life with you. Today, I wanna to talk about creating a safe, calm place in your mind and the importance of taking time out to do this. An element of the safe, calm place is this is a place you go by yourself. There won't be anyone with you in your mind. This is a place you go by yourself. This is an important part of the safe, calm place. I want us to start with considering what in your mind can be a safe, calm place. Where have you been before that is safe or calm? Maybe it's a real place. Maybe it's the beach. Maybe it's out in the woods. For most people, it's someplace in nature that makes sense to them. Maybe it's a favorite park that you go to and there's a bench that you sit at or a tree that you sit under. Maybe there's a place in your own yard that feels peaceful and good. Now this can be a part of EMDR treatment, eye movement desensitization reprocessing. This can be one small element of it, but it also is just a beautiful element of a meditation to help you feel calm and peaceful. And I'd like you to begin by establishing in your mind what you are going to choose as your safe, calm place. Okay, let's begin. Please close your eyes as you, in your mind, enter your safe, calm place. I want you to consider where this safe, calm place is. Is this a place you've been to? Is this a place that you have imagined? Is this a place you've seen in a movie? What is this safe, calm place? I'd like you to call it something very specific in your mind. Just enter in your mind this safe, calm place. First, I'd like you to think, what is this space visually? What does this place look like? When I look up, what do I see? When I look forward, what do I see? What do I see to my left? to my right. What do I see when I look down? And just imagine for a moment what you see when you're in your safe, calm place. And we'll take a few moments to just rest in the visuals of this place inside your mind. Now I'd like you to take a moment to think about what do you hear in your safe, calm place. Maybe you hear birds chirping, or you hear the wind in leaves, or you can hear voices of people. Consider what you hear in this safe, calm place. What do you see? What do you hear? And take a few moments in this space to consider what you see and what you hear in your safe, calm place. Let's now consider, what do I feel? If it's at the beach, do I feel sand in my hands? Does this help me go directly there? Do I feel sand on my toes or water? Do I feel the breeze brush by me? Do I feel the warmth of the sun? What do I notice about what I feel in this safe, calm place? What do I see? What do I hear? What do I feel? Remember that you are alone. No one else is with you unless they are in the distance. This is your safe, calm place. Also, Think in your mind, what do you taste? Can you taste the salt air? Can you taste your grandmother's food? 
in your safe, calm place. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you hear? What do you taste? How are you fully experiencing this safe, calm place? And now, what do you smell in your safe, calm place? We know that some of our most vivid memories are brought back to us from what we smell. Smells of good food, smells of flowers or trees, smells of the air. Just for a moment, reflect on what you smell in your safe, calm place. What do I see? What do I hear? What do I feel? What do I taste? And what do I smell? And for a few moments, just be in your safe, calm place. Feel the peace of it. Look around. Listen. What does it feel like? What can you taste? What can you smell? Allow yourself to rest in this place. And as you stay in this calm place that is safe, I want you to imagine a place or a time that feels less safe or less comfortable or something that you're not happy with yourself about. And I want you to allow that part of yourself to just come and sit just that part of yourself to come and sit in your safe, calm place. Invite that part of yourself that you don't always love to spend some time in the safe, calm place. Just notice what that feels like for that part of yourself to feel safe and calm. Allow the parts of yourself to be there peacefully together. rest into that moment. Okay, now I'm going to invite you to come back into the room where we are. And I want you to think for a moment if that was calming for you and if that helped you bring that part of yourself there. And then I want us to be able to create a space where we can go back to the safe, calm place when we need to. I want us to create a space where we can return to your specific safe, calm place whenever you want to or need to. One way to do that is physically signaling to yourself. Now we're going to do this tapping that is across the body and we cross our body because it's good for your brain and we're going to tap, okay? Just like this. Think of the name of your safe, calm place, whether it's a specific beach, or a specific forest, or another place, maybe your grandmother's house. And I want you to think that place, and I want you as you tap to go to that place. And it will help you go to that place and have those signals that put you in a safe, calm place when you're feeling uncomfortable or stressed out. I'd like you to try to do that this week. I'd like it if we can do that more to help ourselves calm down and regulate down so that we can be in a more calm state, we can make better decisions, and we can move forward in our lives. And I hope we can lean into wellness this week to build a better life. Take care, have a good day.